Hello guys, so welcome back to our YouTube channel once again. This is Arya, one of the placement coordinators at the Information Science Department of NIE. So today we are having a session which is quite different from the earlier ones because uh, we have Pragna with us from the Information Science Department as well who is placed at Western Digital but not for a coding job. So that's the interesting part. So we have a lot of students at NIE who are looking for a management course and something different. So should we have a quick insightful talk about how you could uh, focus on those areas. So starting off, uh, Pragna, tell us something about what Western Digital is all about and what work they do. Okay, so Western Digital is a software company, basically a data storage company. Through uh, placement, they hire both software developers and other for other management roles. So I'm very glad that I got what I wanted as the management role that I was looking for all these days. Okay, so it's important to notice that they do come for offerings uh, for different posts. So you need to look out for that in the companies and specify. It. So uh, next up, uh, did you have in mind that you wanted to target this company or were you open to a lot of other uh, companies? So apparently this company did come to a college for the 2019-2020 batch. So we had no clue about this company, we never heard the name. So when they came for us, I wasn't very into the company, but I just wanted to try because by then I already got placed at another company, LAP, but that was a mass company. I wanted to try for more for sure. So I kept trying and uh, the aptitude was totally technical, so I was scared in the beginning, but that's how they filter everyone in each interview or each company, that's what they do. So uh, after going through the first round, I guess I really wanted to join the company. I love their talk, the PPT that they do for the student. It was really good. Okay, so you got interested to yeah, it? Yeah, once they yeah, came out. Yeah, once yeah. they came out. We saw their, about their company policies and everything. Yeah, okay, that's nice. Uh, next up, did you like, uh, when did you start preparing for your uh, placements and your the aptitude, whatever, or okay. the things like requisites? So you know the situation, we didn't have a prop. <laughs> for uh, placement training. I understand because it was a global pandemic and everything, but we started preparing. Uh, see, there's a fear once you enter third year saying, oh, I need to get placed. I need to get placed. And being in a good college like NI, you know for sure that's a job in hand and you have to grab it on your own with all the effort. I think I, used to, I was in one of the uh, clubs from college which gave me a lot of exposure about a lot of things. So I was pretty confident to talk to someone, but technically I had to work on myself. I started to learn, maybe after the pandemic started, only we all were few, uh, few of us were really free. So <laughs> that's when we all got time, no college or nothing to study 24 into 7. So that's how I started, like maybe uh, starting of March, maybe starting of my sixth semester, I started like totally on, okay, I need to get placed. Let me get back on track to do whatever is required or something like that. March 2, I think I got placed during October. It was fine. So, through that whole process, you whole process, process is different things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, as everyone knows, we have parts. So, it's the aptitude, and few companies have the GD, few companies don't have it, and then we have the interview session. So, uh, tell us about how you crack the aptitude in particular. What was your preparation for that? So, uh, we didn't have like a syllabus given for this company especially. We just had to take it one day, we all get the mail saying, okay, let's do the hiring, we all welcome here to take this test. <laughs> so you just have to sit there and start answering whatever is on your screen. Sometimes it's, people say it's all based on luck a few times, but then maybe or maybe not, sometimes you, some, somewhere you remember, okay, this is the answer, you just put it within a second. So you get a few seconds for another question. That how, uh, that's how I saw like, there were I think 20 questions on Java for our company but that's not what I'm working on right now <laughs> but then after Java we had something for data structures, data analytics so it went pretty well but I wasn't expecting that I would get shortlisted okay. so that's how the starting round was, the aptitude later I had like three technical rounds they keep filtering you based on your how you present yourself if you are into more into the software part of it and the technical part of it, they'll put you to another group where another manager is going to interview. So for me, when I started talking in the first round, they got to know I'm more into the business analytics or maybe data analytics or 
they actually found that functional consultant in India. They were like, okay, you can talk to people really well. So maybe you could take the job. Are you okay with it? They asked me, I think thrice they wanted my confirmation. Because once I get into a mismanagement field, I can't go back to technical. Even if I get another job in the future, probably I might have to look into something similar. Because I have that experience, not as a software engineer or a developer. So after three technical rounds, I had a managerial round. After managerial round, I had the HR round, which was totally fine. It just didn't just stop for yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's interesting that they did not have the usual math in their aptitude. It was something related to what you studied. Yeah. Okay. And uh, coming to the next thing, uh, you cracked your interview. Everything's done, but you know every company sees your resume. That's your, like the face uh, of you that yeah. you uh, portray out there. So what do you do to build a strong profile? And, and, and most importantly, does your company look for anything specific in the resume? So my company, Western Digital, they need somebody, uh, see, they take people based on their behavior throughout the interview. They saw me, they knew I could talk to people properly. So that's what a consultant does. So also on my resume, as I mentioned, I was in a club which really taught me how to talk to people. I used to do business presentations at the Formula Bharat events. So they saw that that was something highlighting for the company people. Keep something different in your resume, not manager project, minor project, some paper presentation. That's part of your curriculum, academics or whatever. Other than that, have something that catches somebody's eyes. You are something outstanding than other people who are with you. Maybe I'm not outstanding technically compared to my classmates, but there was something that the company people like. You never know what is going to happen. So I feel like we just need to be there doing something different. Somebody will have catch their eye on that and that that will help you in the future. No? So one thing that was highlighted in my resume was that. So they were like, oh, this is something different. So, so they, they were impressed and they just wanted to talk about my formula Bharat for a very long time. So they, they, <laughs> that took like almost half an hour. Wow. Yeah. So. Okay. So it's also important to realize that whatever you put in your resume, be strong about the content that you have to present there because they will ask you a lot of questions on whatever you're putting out there. Uh, so lastly, uh, any tips and uh, suggestions that you would like to give for us, our batch? See, first of all, just clear your aptitude somehow. Be ready with answering it really quickly. Apart from that, just be very confident. Just be confident, you know it or not. You should know, I'm not saying you should know, be very confident in whatever you're speaking. Make sure you drive the interview and not the person who is interviewing you. You have to tell them what you're good at. You have to make sure they have confidence in you. And work on it. Obviously, that's going to get you a very nice job and you'll be happy about it someday. Yeah, that's really nice. So, uh, the major factor is don't, uh, you know, put yourself in a very nerve jangling situation or be confident with whatever you know and work towards. Thank yes. you so much, Prada. Thank you, Arya. It was amazing uh, having a session. And to all the people who are not really interested in coding, uh, me being one of them, so it was really inspirational to know that we had such opportunities at event. Thank you. Thank you.